Hi, in this video you will learn how to make a 3D merge cube and integrate it into your OneNote. You will need to use Microsoft Paint 3D. Then you will upload it to a sketch fab to get an input link and insert it in your sway. Then share your sway in OneNote Online. Download a paper template of the merger cube and use any program to crop each side alone. So I'm here I'm trying to crop the first one and give it a name like one, two, three or top, bottom, left and right and try to remember each place on the merger cube itself. So it's going to help you when you try to make it as 3D. So uh, I'm here trying to be accurate as much as I can to get the first sight. Here's the first one. Then I'm going to save a copy of it. It will be number one. I repeat again with the five sides. Crop all the six sides of the merger cube picture as I did with the first one to start creating your 3D model. So I ha should have each one alone. Now open Paint 3D from your Start menu, choose New, click on 3D Shapes, choose Cube, and starting creating your cube now. Then I'm going to change its color into black. Edit color black. Then I'm going to insert each side of it. So insert, choose number one, the first side, open, then click on make a sticker and try to resize it. I'm trying to make it bigger now. Now I have finished the first side of the cube itself. Now I will rotate the cube to do the same with the second size. Click on menu, insert, number two. Make a sticker. So I'm going to resize this again. Try to be accurate. I've finished the second one. Rotate it. To get the third menu, insert number three. Make a sticker. Resize the image.
then rotate the cube. The force aside. Make a sticker. Resize the image. It's very easy. Now I'm going to do side number five. Make sure that you are putting the image in the right position. So here number five. Make a sticker. Resize the image. Then rotate your cube to put the last one. Insert. Number six, make a sticker, now I have finished my 3D merger cube. You can try it with your mobile phone, with any Merge Cube app to make sure it's working. I'm going to save it now. Go to menu, save as. Three D model. Go to Sketchfab website and create an account on it to start uploading your 3D Merge Cube. After creating your account on Sketchfab, click on Upload, Browse, and choose your 3D Merge Cube. Continue. It's uploading now, the Merge Cube. You can add more info about the description, category, whatever you want. After you finish uploading it, click on Continue. Now it's uploaded. Your 3D Merge Cube is a draft now. Click on Publish to save it to your account. You have a link to share it directly to Facebook, Twitter, or any website. Now it's published. Scroll down. To get your embed link, 
check uh, auto start and you have here an option turnable if you click on it it will keep moving or you can uncheck it and you will have uh, a stable merge cube and you move it yourself with the mouse as you like Create a Microsoft Sway. I'll name it Merge Cube 3D. Click on the plus and choose Media, Embed Card. You can change its size as you like. Then go and copy the link. Paste it here, click on the plus again, medium, embed link, and now I'll go to Sketchfab and uncheck turnable animation. So I want to have someone to move it myself with the mouse. Copy and paste it here. After you finish, click on play. As you can see, you will have two merge cubes. The first one is turnable, it's moving automatically. And the second one is stable. You have to move it yourself with a mouse. So I'm trying to moving it now myself. scroll up and start sharing your sway in the OneNote. Click and share and copy the link. Paste your sway link in a OneNote online. You will have had now the first merge cube. The turnable one and if you scroll down you will have the second one that you have to move it yourself now try to scan it with any merge cube app from your mobile phone and enjoy using it Thank you for watching my video how to make a 3D merge cube and integrate it into your OneNote.